Questlove minus the Afro of the legendary Roots crew from Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. I guess the, the bottom line is that uh, I'm in love with music, every aspect of music. Um, you know, a lot of times, especially in, in the realm of hip hop, you have, uh, you have music uh, orators that are, that they use music to create hip hop. But half the time, you know, they're not absorbed with the music for which they use. In other words, you know, I know cats that go, well, for the few cats that still dig in the crates, you know, they go record shopping. You know, most of them store record on a platter, search, 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 search. And then, you know, I'm a person that actually listens and, and absorbs music. So, I mean, I guess to make a long story short, I love music and I really love music. When Whitney Houston died, um, I literally went out and employed uh, a yoga instructor, a, uh, a, a, a trainer, um, a full-time chef, um, and an acupuncturist for me. Uh, but mostly I wanted to, I wanted, I want my entire band to sort of adhere to a new way of living. And I know it's really weird to like force people at gunpoint, like, yo, you better eat healthy, put that cupcake down, no more Patron, no more soda. Like, I'm a hypocrite. I'm the biggest member of the Roots. So it's like, um, I don't know, just the fact that she died before 50, making her like, I mean, so many of our, our heroes, I mean, it's one thing in the rap world to, you know, it was, it was a cliche for, you know, two, one or two rappers a year to pass away before the age of 50 or during 50, but, you know, like, we're really not taking care of ourselves. Like, there should be no reason why a 47-year-old is having a cardiac arrest or a stroke. Maintaining your dignity in hip-hop is one of the hardest things that you can do and still stay the course. Um, most of hip-hop's figureheads, um, most of them are seen as caricatures. One dimensional, like a caricature. Um, it's kind of a one dimensional figure. Think of like Bugs Bunny or, or Superman or, or Casper the Friendly Ghost. Like people who are personified but aren't real human flesh and blood. Like most of hip hop, uh, most, most don't see anyone that participates in hip hop as flesh and blood and as a human being. Uh, the way that most artists that are in the music industry are seen as human being, flesh and blood. Um, so, without resorting to one-dimensional gangster characters or one-dimensional clown characters or living a persona that we don't subscribe to in real life, um, that's a hard thing to do for 20 years. Maintain your, your dignity. So, to me, you know, that's, that's, the, that's the biggest challenge. The reason why our records are the way they are um, is because at, when all is said and done, like if I were to have an untimely exodus, um, I've left behind 14 documents of my expression that I'm, I'm proud of. And to me, to leave records behind, you know, that to me is the most important uh, aspect of, of, at the end of the day, I just want people to look at all the Roots albums and just say like, yo, these guys really put hard work into each and every project. That's all I want.